Well, it's hard to believe October came and went. And Daryl, what did the October Cattle on Feed Report show? You know that the October Cattle on Feed Report confirmed that we are continuing to pull down these feedlot inventories. Uh, we've, we've seen a year-over-year year decline in feedlot inventories now for four months in a row. So in, in September, placements were down a, about 3%, 97% of last year, and marketings in September were also about 97% of one year ago. So did any of that information, were you able to glean to, to see why you know fed cattle markets were so slow to improvements? You know, this has been a, a frustrating year for fed cattle markets we've been trying to kind of play catch up all year and if you look at this report combined with the last several reports and look at the weight breakdowns I think that starts to give us some insight on why we've been so slow to get the you know get caught up a little bit um, you know we've had a number of things going on obviously we've we've bumped up against capacity constraints all year so it's been hard to pull cattle ahead at all Plus, feedlots have uh, been facing higher feed costs, and they've had an incentive to place heavier cattle. That means they move through the feedlots faster. And so we've had large uh, placements of, of heavyweight cattle up until now, and so we just haven't quite been able to move ahead of those. So, you know, why has it been so hard to get feedlots current? Well, all of those things that we just talked about, and, and so it, it's just, it takes time. Uh, you know, we're, we're moving forward. Um, uh, you know, the, the, this latest report does show that uh, placements of heavyweight cattle uh, dropped in, in September um, and placements of lightweight cattle were a relatively bigger part of it. What that means is that we are going to eventually turn the corner. I think it's taken about two to three months longer than we thought it would, uh, but we are going to get there sometime, I think, by December uh, on into the first part of next year, we should see a significantly different feedlot situation. So, you know, speaking of next year, what do you expect as we finish up 2021 for uh, fed cattle markets in general? Well, again, we've been looking for this turnaround, and so, you know, we still think that we will see a significant uh, change in fed cattle prices. I think the, the situation will, will start to favor, uh, you know, cattle feeders, uh, and we'll see uh, significantly stronger markets. We may not get much of it yet in the fourth quarter of this year, but certainly as we move into the first part of next year uh, and, and through next year, we look for significantly stronger fed cattle markets. Do you think that some of the livestock marketers are gonna be a little bit more bullish going into, because you think back to this time last year, you know, the really knee deep in the pandemic, we're starting to kind of come out of that a little bit, maybe a little more optimism. Um, do you think there's gonna be a little bit more optimism for cattle markets? I think there is, there's a lot of optimism really kind of built into the market, certainly if you look at futures markets. So demand has been good. Again, we've had these sort of supply issues, these bottlenecks, if you will, that we've had to work through. But once we get past that, uh, you know, there's an awful lot of reason to be uh, reasonably optimistic. We do expect beef production to actually decline next year, so we're going to have some supply support for prices, as well as, uh, you know, the, the uh, demand and export picture continues very strong. All righty, thanks, Daryl. Dr. Daryl Peel, Livestock Marketing Specialist here at Oklahoma State University.